Thank you very much. So now let's go ahead and get started on some assessments, okay? The first ones that we're gonna do is the vibration assessment, okay? So the first thing I need you to do is uh, go ahead and shield your vision because I wanna make sure that we are just using our senses and not our vision. So we're gonna use this tuning fork here, okay? This tuning fork is going to be able to create a vibrational, uh, a vibratory sin, uh, stimulus. I'm gonna apply it onto the electronom process or her bony prominence right here on her elbow. And we will see if she can go ahead and feel that sensation of vibration, okay? I'll go ahead and strike. Let me do that one more time. Okay, now I'm gonna place it. Now, can you feel vibration? Yes. Great. So now we'll go ahead and do it to her uh, non-affected limb. Do you feel vibration? Yes. Okay. Now, if she was not able to feel that vibration, then that would be impaired. And we will go ahead and look into how we can um, help her uh, with her ADLs or anything that might be impaired. Okay. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is two-point discrimination. Two-point discrimination is being able to distinguish uh, the tactile sensation of being uh, touched by either one or two points. Okay, we are going to be using two-point discriminator here. Okay, we're again going to start by shielding your eyes. Again, you want to use just your senses and not your vision. So go ahead and shield your eyes for me. Thank you very much. Now, uh, where we're going to start at is at uh, four, and we're going to move down from there. And we're going to have uh, our patient go ahead and tell us if they can go ahead and uh, fill one or two points. Okay, so again, all you I'm going to touch you, and I need you to tell me one or two points. Okay, okay? go ahead and give me your hand. Okay, we're going to start on her thumb. Now, let me go ahead and try on your other hand, okay? Why don't you go ahead and bring this here. Again, you're only going to tell me one or two. 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 One. Two. 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 One. Great. Now, it sounds like you have your um, senses intact. You can go ahead and feel uh, the two-point discrimination. Uh, we do have a, another two-point discriminator just in case there was impairment and she was having trouble filling um, two points at four, meter, four millimeters apart. Uh, we can even go into even further apart to see how uh, severe that impairment might be. Okay. Now, the last one is going to be proprioception. It's about being able to know where our limbs are in space. Okay. Now, what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to shield your vision again. Okay. Because again, we just want to use our senses. We don't want to go ahead and use vision to cheat. Okay. So, what you're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to move your arm. Okay. And I need you to tell me if it's going, if your arm is up or up or down, out or in, okay? So, is your elbow up or down? Up. Okay. Now, am I moving your wrist in or out? In. Okay. Now, is your elbow up or down? Down. Okay. Is your elbow up or down? Is your wrist out or in? Out. Good. Now, 
you're able to go ahead and distinguish between those two uh, or between those motion without even seeing where your arm is. That is called proprioception. Very good.